so welcome back to my youtube channel and today we'll be doing new predictions for the la liga a lot of you have commented in the last previous videos saying that you want to see the la liga so let's get right into it now we can start off with the goalkeeper and it is Thibaut Courtois of course last year he came from Chelsea and he didn't have the best of seasons yet this year he has come out of nowhere and gone out of his shell and become Real Madrid's number one and one of their best keepers in the last couple of years. Of course, not including Casillas, he is, of course, the best. But Courtois has had an amazing season. You can see 22 matches played, 12 clean sheets. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get on to the next goalkeeper, which are quite a few goal good goalkeepers in the La Liga, such as the next one we'll be presenting, and a lot of other. Of course, Barcelona got a few to Stegen, Neto, but no one compares to this guy in the two sticks. It's Oblak. And of course, I don't really like Oblak in general just because he knocked out Liverpool in Champions League. But of course, that doesn't matter anymore. We're just talking about team this season. And you can see, he's the second highest clean sheets just behind Courtois with 11, but this time with 25 matches. So not as impressive, but his base card is 91 rated. That's why I've given him such an amazing upgrade, a 96. With the La Liga, I find it quite hard to do these team season predictions. Because of course you know the big names such as Barcelona players, Real Madrid players, Atletico Madrid players. But then other than that, I don't know as many. That's why I had to do a lot of research on this video. So let's get right into the first of the defenders. And it's going to be um, a player who I didn't know before. is regular and I don't know if I said his name or butchered it. If I did, please don't uh, hate me in the comments. But... This is what I've given him. Uh, you can see his upgraded card I've given him is a plus 10. Making him a 90 rated card. Looks absolutely fantastic. Looks like he would be also quite cheap. As there's so many other left backs. Such as that Grimaldo. Who's only 50k for the team season community tots. And you might be thinking. Okay goals to a game ratio. Okay he's a left back. Then assists. Okay not even that great. But then you look at the key passes. 36 from a left back is so important. Especially in only 21 games. That's why I've given him a big upgrade, a plus 10. Also, one of the only left backs to be getting it, as of course Marcelo in previous years was a big one to get it, but now it's going to be him. Now, the first of the centre backs is Diego Carlos. I know Diego Carlos because of his uh, SBC card that came out for the Europa League, and that was an absolutely crazy card. So just imagine this team this season would be absolutely fantastic. And everyone, everyone will have it. Like last year, Militao for Porto. And also gets good links, him being in La Liga and Brazilian. Now the next of the centre-backs, another one who's had an SBC and it was very, very OP, is Gerard Piquet. Of course he had that SBC for Halloween, the Scream, which was very, very OP. Everyone had him, everyone played against him and everyone hated him. How good he was, how big of an upgrade he got on his pace. And now PK is going to get another special card and this time it's going to be his team this season. Looks very, very solid and as you can see, 16 tackle success rate isn't the best. But at the same time, there's not many other defenders in the La Liga that compete with him in defending scenarios. Anyway, that's what I've given him. And you can see 95 defending, 90 physical. Looks very, very solid. As we move on to the first of the right backs and it's going to be Danny Carvajal. Another player who I feel has been very consistent in the last couple of years. Very, very solid for Spain and Real Madrid. And had a really good season this year. So that's why I can definitely see him getting a team this season. Now, make sure uh, you don't look too much into the cards. It's just what my predictions are. And if you don't agree with them, make sure you comment them down below. As we move into the first of the midfielders, Evan Benega. This card has been interesting one of the last couple of years you've always packed him i remember where you used to pack him uh when you couldn't see if it's a walkout or not and you saw argentina you, your lights lit up but it was of course benega and a very big troll player this year but i feel like he's had a decent season and also already had an SBC card so this could be objective possibly seeing what the other objectives are like and it would be a very very solid card and you see I've given him really decent defending stats, good dribbling, good passing, even a big upgrade on his shooting. Pace is still questionable, but we can move on with that. He's had a good season, so that's why he deserves one. Now, another Atletico Madrid player, and another one who's a bit of a meme player. And if you don't know already, of course, Party 
He's had a lot of uh, questionable things that happened in the past with him, with his name mainly. Why a lot of English people, long English teens, why would they remember him? Of course, and it's from a uh, show, The In Between Us, where this happens. Party, hmm. Cool that sounds. A lot of you probably didn't find that funny, but in context, it's a lot better. And I couldn't be asked to put the whole In Between Us episode in there. That's why you've only got a snippet. But that's why loads of people remember his name just because of that. A lot of uh, AJ3 fans would remember as well. But we move on to the next one. A player who's already had a very good special card. A big upgrade. An 88 rated special card. It was his future stars. Odegaard. Who's had a decent season. Especially when he was not uh, literally supposed to be the next big thing. Playing for Real Madrid. And then he got sent out alone. Then everyone thought he would be nothing. And now he'd come back for Real Sociedad. And played absolutely fantastic for them. Feel really happy for Odegaard that his potential hasn't been lost. That some teams have picked him up and seen how good he is. That's why this will be a really interesting team this season card. Hopefully next year he gets a big weak foot upgrade as well. Now talk about someone with a weak foot. is Santi Gazzola. Someone who's got 5 star 5 star skills on his foot miss card. Was absolutely beast. In the last couple of years for Arsenal, of course he got that bad injury, but now he's come back in the first season, played absolutely fantastic for Villarreal, and going to get a team of the season, how good he's been playing at the central mid position. You see I've given him a uh, 68 pace, which is a bit generous, I was thinking that his normal card got 56, but if you look at the main stats, shooting, passing, dribbling, looks like an absolutely fantastic card, and can't wait for this one to come out be a really interesting one see how many people can use him and where would you play him play him as a cam maybe just has to put something to improve his pace maybe like a hunter makes him a decent card we move on to the next midfielder and it's Tony Cruz another player who's been so consistent in the last couple of years for Real Madrid and Germany and coming back with his team this season I remember last couple of years he's had a team the year one of the first years he hasn't had one and it's Tony Cruz had a solid season for Real Madrid, two, three goals, three, uh, four assists, and 94% on his pass accuracy. Absolutely amazing. And we will talk about troll players, and this is another definite troll player. When you see a walkout, Spanish, centre mid, you know it's Perejo. You get your hopes up, you see a walkout, you see maybe Messi, Neymar, Ronaldo. No, it is Perejo. Yes, you got your hopes up for no reason to get a Perejo. And this will happen with team season again, but now he's actually got a kind of usable card. Still 62 pace though. Now, as I said in my last couple of videos, when I was doing team season predictions, with um, this kind of thing, is that with these team season predictions, if you're going to get a team of the year, like Frankie De Jong, like a lot of the Liverpool players, you're going to guarantee to get a team of the season. Because it's quite obvious, if you're the best in the world, you're the best in your league, like Frankie De Jong, who's had an amazing season, coming back from Ajax to come to Barcelona big club a lot of expectations and he's lived up to them and played absolutely fantastic for Barcelona you see 92% pass accuracy 24 key passes and 43 succession in uh, dribbles he's had a really good season and can't wait for this one to come out be a really really fun card to use not like I'm going to afford it but it'd be a fun card to see other people use isn't it now another trolled player where you get his balls and he's an SBC player but he's gone up in price quite a bit now because of the SBCs is Canelas and he's 84 rated his base card so a big upgrade to make him 92 he's had a decent season 4 goals 4 assists it could be better so this isn't a guarantee but if it does happen mark my words he would be an, finally a usable card as you can see 85 pace 88 shooting He's basically in the hula gang if it wasn't for his physical and defending. So you can play him at cam or centre mid. Doesn't really matter. You're going to be playing this card. He's very, very usable now. Now we're moving on to the first of the attackers. And it's a left mid to a right winger. You see a big uh, position change. I didn't know how to say his name before. So I'm not going to try now. As you can see, I've given a really, really usable meta card as um with his stats 90 physical as well which is a really nice stat and definitely deserves it. you can see 20 matches played seven goals two assists very very uh, deserving of this also another troll player you see right winger during the la liga tots 
and then you see Argentina to just see Ocampos. Now, Gerard Moreno. I remember in the beginning of the year he got a team of the week, and since then he's just been playing better and better for Villarreal. Gerard Moreno had an amazing season playing at striker, right wing, left wing. Doesn't really matter where he plays, he's playing absolutely amazing. I've given the right wing a card because that's his main position where he's been playing quite well. You see 10 goals, 3 assists, our right winger. Absolutely amazing for him. And also, finally, a usable card as well for him. You see he's never been really that usable, being a non-rare and with not great pace or shooting. Now he's got a big upgrade. Now to end the video, we'll be talking about Messi. And a very, very obvious one. Messi won the Ballon d'Or. Maybe not deserved as much as Van Dyke, or that's me being biased, but Messi is the best player in the world by stats and everything else. You see, 20 games played, 18 goals, 12 assists, absolutely fantastic, up there with the best in the world right now. And also, personally, 99 rated is perfect for him. He's played absolutely fantastic for Barcelona and Argentina. Well, actually, maybe not Argentina, but Barcelona. Anyway, that'll be all for me and also the team season predictions. Maybe lower league will be coming out soon. Anyway, peace.